sweaty. Probably wondering why I'm so sweaty right now. Why well, it's dark out here. Well, when I was working on it, it wasn't so dark. I was still kind of sweaty because it's hot out here, but uh, oh, the reason I'm sweaty is I've been looking for parts. I say parts, looking for my tools. Um, trying to clean up because uh, the KPR caught on fire this time. Yes, that's correct. Changed the battery, that bolt regulator, everything was fine. So I was buttoning up all the plastic um, and I said, let me just run it one more time and just make sure, right? It's the best thing to do. So I was gonna ride it around the block, maybe a little further. Started it up. It ran a couple minutes. I mean, no more than three or four. And the dash started making that buzzing noise again. I was like, oh no, here we go. But before I could even get to it to turn it off, a puff of smoke came out the side. Um, and what's crazy, I mean, I wasn't on it, thankfully. What's also crazy is uh, flames came up and that sucker started burning. So I instinctively ran in the house and right there in the kitchen, I grabbed fire extinguisher and I, uh, of course, extinguished the flames and got everything back. I drug everything back because I had my bag of tools right there. Uh, I was using my power drill and stuff to, to uh, button down the plastic and uh, started pulling everything back. Um, I mean, you can see the dust here, the extinguisher stuff where, where I had all my stuff set out. And the, the bike was actually, I mean, you can see, you can see the outline of the tools. Isn't that crazy? So I was back over here actually uh, when it happened. Um, I always pull the bike kind of forward uh, away from the Jeep when I'm parking it. Um, and I went ahead and put the cover over the front of it. I got the battery over here. <clears throat> but if you look, this battery puffed up. So apparently it was, it was a lot more than, than I thought it was. And you can see the powder all over it. But that battery, see how it's swollen there on the side? that whole tray right there it usually fits kind of flush and it's kind of puffed up just a little bit now this battery didn't pop like the old one see remember I'd said uh, before the old battery was bad and when I had went to come take it out uh, the next day it had popped that was the serviceable one at the top of it so there must have been something else going on in there because if you look oh this is all burnt and these wires go in there and up underneath the wires are burnt. Um, I mean, look at that. It just charred. See where it, I move it out of the way. See where the, the fire, you know, got to. Didn't actually hurt any of that plastic. Um, not that I can see. I mean, it did smolder underneath. I mean, it may have burnt a little bit under there. I don't know. But, <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, I filed my claim uh, online see what they say uh i don't know i think this is experiments done man i <clears throat> could not imagine going down the road and having it um catch on fire with me on it uh sorry if i changed the perspective on everybody that wasn't very nice was it um here i'll do it again right there it's better sorry it's hot out here and i've been moving all this stuff around i mean 100% humidity and it's about 95 degrees so it's pretty warm um, not anything that should kill a bike though on idle the fan never even kicked on this time um, I don't know we'll see we'll see what the insurance company does um, I don't know if anything I don't know but did it burn anything on this side see a little bit of charring underneath I don't know if the camera can get that yeah it can a little bit right there so man I I'm just glad it didn't get to the fuel system boy that would have been a tougher fire to extinguish although I do have extra fire extinguishers I have a big big one but I didn't want to grab it because to replace that one's about a hundred bucks to replace the one in the kitchen is like 25 so I don't mind that Sorry about turning the camera the wrong way. I got it the right way now. Anyway, so there you go. Um, KPR, it is, uh, I'm just going to say it's toast. Still got a pretty exhaust on it. Boy, the exhaust looks good. Uh, as a matter of fact, most everything on it looks real good. 
except for the whole electrical system. I'm wondering what the brain looks like um, getting up to the electronics under that dash because the, the tachometer, you know what? Let's see what the tach did. Let's check that out. I didn't even look. I didn't even look at the tach zeroed out or not. It did. The tachometer actually zeroed out this time. Huh. Remember last time uh, when the voltage regulator went out under the seat, <clears throat> that was that part that's right there under the tank, kind of toward the front of the seat. Uh, whenever it burned out, it froze the tachometer at 8,000 RPMs. This time the tachometer went back to zero, but it made like a tick, 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 like a really fast ticking noise and then like a crazy noise. And before I could even get over to turn it off, that's when everything started puffing out of the side. And uh, I was like, ah, oh, that's, that's really not good. Which is crazy because it ran great yesterday. I mean, literally the only thing I was doing today was I tightened up the, the plastic on that side over there. I buttoned everything down um, I checked my connections. I mean, everything was good. I mean, it, it ran just yesterday. So, I'm not sure. I don't know. Let's see if the fuse is blown. Everybody keeps saying the fuse will blow. Let's see. Let's see how good the fuse is. Come on now. Ooh, it's like it's... Oh, I can't even get it open this time. Oh, there it is. fuse didn't blow. Look at that. The back up and the regular fuse didn't blow. Crazy. That sucker was burning to the ground. Look at that. I mean flames. And uh, fuse didn't blow. Like in the movies, you cover up the body out of respect. <laughs> KPR, your days are done. We'll cover you back up. Rest in peace, good woman. Rest in peace. Have a great day, everybody. Be safe out there.